สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So the holiday season is coming up. Yay! And if you're looking for like a unique dish to bring to your party, I have just the thing for you. We are making p i k a i yatsai. p i k a i is chicken wings, and yatsai means to stuff. Yes, stuff chicken wings, which in North America I've never actually seen it done. And even in Thailand, it exists, but it's not something you can find all over the place. Not super common because it does require some skills to put it together, but definitely doable. I will show you exactly how to do it. Now, this video is sponsored by Pine Brand Glass Noodles, which is my favorite brand. You guys have seen me use this before, and yes, glass noodles is going to be the main ingredient in our recipe here. How? Let's find out. All right, let's get started. So as I said, there are a few steps to this recipe, so you definitely want to get yourself organized. Uh, but the good news is you can prep everything in advance and then just cook it the day off. So on the day of your party, no stress. Um, the first thing you want to do though is soak your mushrooms. So I got dry shiitake mushrooms here, which you want to soak in hot water at least 30 minutes in advance, even longer if they're bigger. And you can do this in advance, stick it in the fridge, and forget about it. Okay? So we'll let that sit while we do other things. The other thing that we have to soak is the glass noodles. So each pack of glass noodles is 40 grams. You only need half because the glass noodles swell up a lot, which is nice. You don't need a lot to for any given recipe. So to separate it, the nice thing about this brand is the noodles come in neat, like neat straight rows, so you can quite easily separate it sideways like this, and it's gonna fly a little bit all over the place. That's okay. Ta-da! It'll happen. And if it looks like not even, then you want to even it out a little bit. I find pulling from the outside bit easier than pulling from the inside bit. There you go. <laughs> That's it. You can also just soak the whole thing and drain it and keep the rest for another dish. It'll last in the fridge for several days. Actually, this only takes about seven to ten minutes to soak. You just need room temperature water, and you let this sit. While you prep other ingredients, you just want to make sure set a timer so you don't let it soak for too long. So, when choosing glass noodles, one of the reasons why I like this brand is because it's a hundred percent mung bean starch. There are some other brands out there that's got other types of starches mixed in, and the reason why that's important is a hundred percent mung bean starch make them more resistant to overcooking, especially if you're going to use it in soups. It's kind of something to think about. These are also gluten free and lower glycemic index than rice noodles. So, for those of you who are concerned about glycemic Index. This is a good noodle option. Okay, and they're so versatile. I have so many recipes that use glass noodles. I'll link to some of them in the description below. So that we don't have to do anything anymore. We'll just leave it. And now let's prepare our wings for stuffing. So for this recipe, I'm starting with the whole wing, but I'm only gonna use this part. So I'm just gonna cut this out. Okay. Save this for another recipe, and the reason why I want the whole wing is because I want the wing tip attached because it looks a lot nicer. It becomes like a handle you can use at the end if you want to serve it like a whole piece. Um, it's also a lot easier to debone just this part than it is to try to debone the whole thing, which you can do, and you're welcome to do it if you're able. But <laughs> it's a lot more complex to do that. So now that you've got this, I am going to now take the bones out. Okay, watch carefully. You want to first run a knife around the joint to cut the ligament and tendon that's attaching the meat to the bone. I know this looks a bit scary, but if you're holding it close to the blade, you will have control, and you're not going to be able to tell whether you've done it. But just start pushing the meat down the bones, and then if there's a uh, an area that's stuck. You will feel it, and then you can go back and deal with the tendon there. Like I always find, I always have a little piece stuck right here, so I just go with my knife and cut that loose. There we go, and keep pushing that down. So you keep pushing that down, and then once I expose enough bone, what I like to do is I stick one of my fingers in between these bones to hold it, and then with my other hand I pull this down to expose the bones, like that. Okay, don't worry about the little meat that's stuck here. We will rescue it. Once you get to the end where the joint is, break off these bones loose from the socket like that, and it should just pop out. And then when you pull it, it will leave the meat behind. Okay, same as the other side. There you go. 
it just comes loose like that. So it takes a little bit of practice. So the first one might be a bit of a struggle. It's okay. Trust me, this is a lot easier than doing it with the whole wing. And that's it. Now you have a beautiful chicken stocking for your filling. Yay! It'll feel really good once you've mastered it and you're like, yeah, so satisfying. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make a whole nother video as an addendum to this where I'm just gonna debone the rest of my wings. So if you need to see it over and over and over again, you can check out that video and like do it with me if you want so you don't have to keep rewinding to watch the techniques. I'll link to that video down here as well. Now I'm gonna do just a quick marinade of the chicken wings so the meat itself has some flavor with just some soy sauce. And I'm gonna add a touch of sugar. It'll help the browning when we go to cook them. And to help the browning even further, I'm gonna add some black or dark soy sauce to this. And just give that a squeeze, a knead, massage your wings. Okay, so that now just needs to marinate. Take this time to then go make your filling, and by the time your filling is ready, this is ready. You can do this a day in advance, then you do your filling the next day, spread the workout however works for you. Now the best part of this recipe, the filling, which I have been known to just eat the filling on its own. It's that good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start out with our peppercorns. I'm using both white and black peppercorns. You don't have to use both. Different peppercorns give different flavors, and I think a combination is nice sometimes. Ooh, peppery. So I like peppery wings. If you're serving children, maybe cut it down a notch. Um, okay, garlic is going in, and also cilantro stems. Typically in Thailand, we will use cilantro roots for this, but I can't get cilantro roots here. Not anymore, anyway. So stems would work just fine. But honestly, if you don't want to buy a whole bunch of cilantro just to use a little bit of stems, you can skip it. It'll be fine. You will not ruin the recipe. Okay, so now you just want a fine paste like that. Back to our glass noodles. So I have drained my glass noodles. By the way, I am using unbleached glass noodles. Um, so it's got a hint of green in it. You can use the regular one. It works exactly the same. Doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And I'm gonna cut these into little, little pieces. And ah, three quarters of an inch, maybe. Some stray long ones. Okay, it gets super easy from here. I am adding ground pork. You can also do ground chicken if you don't wanna eat pork, but definitely something not lean. Okay, you want fat in there to keep the filling moist. Seasoning, super simple, I got oyster sauce. Fish sauce, of course, and some soy sauce. And I'm also gonna add shredded carrots. And the great thing about using gloves is you can now forego rubber spatula and just use your gloves to just sweep things out of their containers. And then our dry shiitake mushrooms, which all I've done after they soak and become super soft, I squeeze all the water out of it. Then you remove the stems and then just finely, finely dice them. And that will add so much umami to our filling. So it's quite important. And you want to use dried, not fresh, okay? It does make a difference. So that's going in. And then just a touch of greenery, green onions. And then with your gloved hands, just go ahead and, oh, 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 sugar. A little bit of sugar, a little sweetness helps balance out the saltiness. And then just massage everything together. A bigger bowl will make this easier. Now to check seasoning, don't taste this. You can take a little bit, cook it off in the microwave in a pan or something just to check the seasoning. It's pretty spot on if you follow the exact amount, but if you wanna be sure there's more than enough filling here for you to cook off even like, you know, two tablespoons of it to taste. And that's it, that's the filling, super easy. As I said, this can sit in the fridge a day or two in advance. You don't have to do everything all in one day. It's really convenient. And now, stuffing time. So typically in Thailand, stuffed chicken wings are deep fried, which you can do that. You can just dust them in some cornstarch or flour and deep fry them, or you can do the whole breadcrumb coating thing and then deep fry them. But for the holiday season, 
I'm sure you don't want to deep fry things. You've already got enough going on as is. So I am going to bake them. Trust me, it's still going to be really, really good and way easier, right? So I've got a baking sheet here. I have lined it with foil and then oil it only because I have run out of parchment paper. If you have parchment paper, use it. Then you don't have to worry about the chicken wing sticking to your pan. So I only have one glove left. So I'm going to use it on the hand that's touching the filling because it's a lot harder to get ground pork out of your fingernails. So you just want to grab just a lump and just stuff it in. Really simple. There's no technique. Just stuff it in, push it in with your thumb as much as you can. Try not to overstuff it just because the chicken wing, the chicken wing will shrink a little as it cooks. So, but you also don't want to see this is what happens when you don't cut your glass noodles thoroughly enough. If that happens, just remove it. So there you go. Just stuff it so that it's full. There's no air pockets in there and it's just flush with the meat and it'll be a nice fat little chicken wing. And you just place that presentation side up on the tray. done so as you can see there's a bit of filling left so you can make more wings than what I have here it's just this is enough for me and then the rest I just cook it off and eat with rice or whatever because as I said that's delicious or stuff other things stuff mushrooms something a question that I know is gonna come up can you go with just wing flats without the wing tip yes you can it'll still stuff and it'll cook up just fine um, but it won't look as good because then it'll just be like a little nubbin of something. Uh, in that case, you definitely want to slice them to serve. But if you want the option of serving a whole piece, definitely get one with the wingtip will look a lot better. Okay. Okay. These are going to the oven for 25. We want high heat for nice browning for 20 minutes and we're done. Ooh -hoo. Look how pretty these are. Oh my God. So good. These are super hot. We're going to just let it cool down a bit before we deal with them. Okay, so these have cooled a little bit. It's too hot. <laughs> um, you can definitely serve them like this if it's more casual party and people can less gracefully just grab them by the handle and eat. But I prefer to slice them because then you can see the filling and it's a lot prettier. So you want a sharp, sharp, sharp knife because you want to be able to cut through. Ah, it's still hot. The skin without the whole thing getting squished. See? And it's like a cool, cool, cool thing. You can see the glass noodles. And I would say like one centimeter is a good length. And you can leave the last little bit on the stick as well because that's like one bite right there, right? And so this way people see what's inside. It's really pretty. Pop them right here. And you want sweet chili dipping sauce for this can buy it in a bottle or whatever, but I have a recipe if you want to DIY it. It's really, really easy, but definitely it needs like a vinegary sweet sauce to go with it. Look how cool that is, right? And if you put that out there, people are going to be like, how did you stuff chicken wings? And then it's a whole conversation that you can have with somebody at the party that you don't really know. I'm going to try it, but I want to try the one with a handle so that I can then dip. Mmm, smells so good. Mm. Worth every minute. It's not one of those quick and easy recipe, but it is so worth it. The chicken is well seasoned and marinated, but the filling is where it's at. The mushrooms, really give that extra kick of umami and the glass noodles. It, the glass noodles do two things. One, it keeps the filling not so heavy. Like if you just did pork, it'll just be really heavy. Now it's a little bit lighter and it has a bit of texture, right? That, that kind of, it just kind of like dances in your mouth a little bit and it looks really cool. You can see the individual glass noodles in there. Man, and it's a really interesting way of using glass noodles. Like you might think, oh, glass noodles, well then I will make 
a noodle dish with it, but it's a lot more versatile than that. So I really, really hope you give this a try. It's so good, so good. And again, you can make it in advance, make everything in advance and just on the day off, just bake them and then you're done. So I hope you give this a try. The recipe as always will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, I definitely want to see a photo of this because it's such a cool looking thing. Send it to me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss an awesome recipe like this. And click the bell icon as well so you get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. So this video is sponsored by Pine Band, Pride Prime Band. Prime brand grass noodles. Prime brand grass noodles. <laughs> Did I say grass noodles? Pine brand grass noodles. Wow, even that wasn't. Pine brand glass noodles. <laughs>